one of the requirements for the job we were working on in collaboration with Maxon was to be able to show off the uh, sculpting and modeling tools. And it, we like taking on a challenge at Imaginary Forces in bringing in incredible artists who haven't used the tools before and see how they approach um, working with Cinema 4D for the first time. We've done it before with animators and we've done it with look dev artists. And on this project, we brought in an incredible ZBrush sculptor and modeler named Amir Karim. And his goal was to take this tiny little character that we had off to the side in our concept art of this hula alien girl and see how he would approach um, using a new tool um, and maybe along the way teach us some new things with the tools that we thought we already knew. So his basic approach for this was to, on the very first day of using cinema for the first time, um, go in and start box modeling using the same kind of standard techniques anybody would use when they're um, approaching modeling. And he very quickly roughed out just a basic shape. So rather than starting off with a um, something like a cube, he was able to create this kind of like box guy, this box alien. Um, but being the great ZBrush artist that he is, he immediately dove into the sculpting tool. So he went through the process of subdividing uh, probably four or five, six times and kind of attacked using just the standard tools. Um, probably it looks like he's using mostly the pull, the grab, smooth, um, he's not even touching the knife tool at all. But basically what he did was he was able to create a very rough sketch very quickly with the sculpting tools. And now with the brand new poly pen tool and the um, reproject result option, he's able to go in and topologize. Finally, we are finally able to take our rough sketches, retopologize into meshes that have better, great, have better edge flow, better topology for animation and for rigging. Um, and now Cinema 4D is actually feels like it's a it's production ready for character development to go straight from concept design from sculpting to just kind of sketching, retopologizing to make a base mesh, um, and then being able to sculpt back on top of that retopologized base mesh um, to be able to create all the details that we want for displacements. Um, we're really impressed with the polypen tool with how fast it is, um, how it finally lets us kind of move at the speed of thought rather than fighting the restrictions of the limitations of the previous modeling tools. It's kind of um, a Swiss army knife. It gives you the ability to create faces, um, with all three modes, with uh, points, edges, and polygons. The um, polygon is <laughs> polygon method of creating faces and um, kind of face like strips of faces is pretty impressive. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to um, because we're used to having to kind of bounce back and forth between three or four tools to do things like edge cuts, melting, extruding, beveling. Um, it's kind of awesome finally being able to have a tool that does all those things at once. Uh, but it was great as well to watch Amir use that. Um, he made a lot of uh, comments about how this feels just like Topo Gun. Um, and as he was actually cutting through, he started um, exploring some of the other the other modeling tools. Um, found himself using the um, knife tool quite often with the loop mode, um, and then going back to the poly pen to go and kind of reflow his edges as he's working. Um, it was really really fast, really intuitive, and it was pretty interesting to see how someone who never used Cinema 4D before. Um, where in the past, if they probably approached using the tools for modeling, we would get really frustrated really quick. But now with the polypen tool, the improved bevel from the previous version, um, the slide tool, which is incredible in combination with the polypen tool, um, it's been really great to see um, modelers from other programs jumping in um, and making comments like, oh, great, this is just like Topo Gun, or wow, the sculpting feels just like ZBrush.